the amount of times me and my brother would play it on the TV and then we would you know tie the dupatta in the way she has yeah. and do those steps <laughs> with her and she would be sitting there and she'd be like can you stop the other newcomer we have to do the initiation so they are ragging me left right and center anything and then mother comes in being mummy ji so i was like please but don't give them more fodder for this give me something so after that baby like you know start with her her going to london was a biggie for me like i was actually breaking the umbilical cord at that point of time so it was too much to send her away mom i'm here now yeah but what she's not getting to my point i'm right here very excited i must say what a lovely space for everybody watching we're doing this in their house <laughs> welcome to our crib <laughs> welcome 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 and that's what we're getting up close personal today here on e times with me hesha and i'm going to start off with you avantika what was your first reaction when you saw your mum's like iconic film which by the way we're all fans of even now you know what the answer to this is something that is uh, not very exciting for anyone who speaks to me because i was a child how so old were you i was very young i, I don't even remember it was very small <laughs> but the thing was that there are these scenes where mom is sad or she's crying and i couldn't take it mm. you know i can't watch mom like that and i'm not understanding <laughs> what is happening so if it would be playing i would just kind of like walk out of the room and i just go and if she was not happened to be in the room i would like go and i would hug her and i'd look at her and i'd be like okay she's fine she's not sad <laughs> and then it was real. yeah it's all real like it was something that i had to kind of learn in that space because it was just like why is she sad why is she crying mm-hmm. you know so it would be that so it's not as exciting as you know i watched her and Yeah, like you fell in love with my mom. No, I again. think I think honestly, uh, she must have watched it when she was probably seven or eight, and I think no, that's before that. Mom. Yeah, definitely I mean, yeah. before that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, even younger, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, I I guess the euphoria of Maine Pyar Kiya lasted till that point of time. I mean, people no, still do remember. Now. <laughs> but but I guess um, Abhimanyu saw a little bit of it. and as all children are they were extremely possessive mm. and uh, she was like that daughter possessive you know yeah. like mama can't cry mama can't be sad and uh, of course maine pyar kiya has a whole lot of those emotions yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> okay but did you see you, it again Lina? yes and not just the movie right so the music video keeps playing and things like that and the amount of times me and my brother would play it on the tv and then we would you know tie the dupatta in the way she has yeah. and do those steps <laughs> with her and she would be sitting there and she'd be like can you stop and me and my brother were like no you did that you made everyone watch it now we're going to do you watch and you do realize after this i'm going to make a reel with both of you all on this right <laughs> okay okay maybe we'll improvise get on this get her to do it again again yes. like a full like 2023 version Done. of it She's I, like I hate both of you all right <laughs> at the start of this. But honestly, when we first came to know that we had to do those steps, yeah. it was like crazy. Yeah. Like we What said, like who, who does this? <laughs> the amount we teased her and laughed about it and everything, we just like like the <laughs> mom, no. <laughs> <laughs> But um, Bhagyesh, I'm coming to you. I have to have to address this. You know, most of us, I feel, whoever is in this industry and especially actors, you know, we live for fame. you live for the fan love you know and after getting all of that you decided to give it up at some point in your life because you chose another path you chose your personal life over your professional stuff big 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 decision respect what was going on in your mind back in the day and would you like change something right now if given the opportunity honestly speaking i've never led my life with regrets so um, i honestly believe that now is the moment mm. present is what you have to look to and um, when i decided to get married and have a woman new and have her uh, the point was that i feel in the initial stages when the children are growing up when they have their parents with them and especially their mothers the kind of bonding the kind of foundation mentally emotionally a child gets is, i think surpasses everything else so for me that was my priority and that's what 
actually matter to me at that point of time or even later like I mean I would just say that they came first mm. and they still do come first and the other reason why I'm getting back into movies again and especially her um, back then when I decided to give up like I said priorities were different and um, when you're talking about that kind of adulation and fame and love and respect I am so blessed I still get it yeah <laughs> And you got all of that in just like one film. Like you started with that and then you had obviously like holding... I know my dad, when I told him that I'm coming here for an interview with the both of you, he was like, please go tell her that I'm a huge <laughs> fan of her. And the fact, so he's also been in the film industry, he's a distributor, so he mm -hmm. knew and he was just like, Aapko pata bhi nahi hai, Hesha, kya fan following thi unki? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And he's like, and now, you know, her daughter's getting into it. And that's what I want to ask you. You studied business. I have watched one of interviews of your mother where she's like, you didn't imagine that she's going to come up to you one day and be like, I want to no, become an actor, never, right? Never, never. What was it like that changed your mindset about this when you were not keen onto it? And I'm going to get to the other deeper sections of your life too because that's so not, you know, of somebody who's involved or who wants to get into acting. So when did that switch or turn over happen for you? Uh, so I think one of the things really importantly was the fact that... Uh, I always loved all kinds of like performing arts and like all the creative stuff. When I was in school, any competition, anything we had, my name would go without me even like volunteering for it. Mm. It was one of those things, like it was an understood thing. I want the cover. Yeah. Matlab usko dal do, fir dekhi ye times. It was one of those things. So I've always loved that, but I'm also the kind of person who hates being boxed up. Mm. Like you can't be somebody who tells me, okay, this is what you're going to do or this is what it's going to be like for you. Mm. Um, and you know when you're when you're a just about teenager and you're in your tweens and things like that and I started hearing that a bit around me they're like okay but you're going to be an actor you're, you're going to do this which unfortunately at that age I didn't understand enough and mm. it, it put me off you know it was the idea that why am I being limited to anything got it you know it was mm. like I can do this I can be in business I can be in any space that I would like to be in that is my choice. And yes, there were a lot of offers coming at that point of time for her to, you know, star with someone. Yeah. And she was like, no, I want to finish what I'm doing first. Wow. <laughs> and I've always enjoyed business and economics and I've always enjoyed that world. And I'll tell you what, I think I was also really influenced by all the girl boss that we see on screen. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> those episodes of Suits and all of that. Oh, yeah, I love Suits. Right, so you're like, I want to, that's what I want to look like and I want to like command a room like that and this and that. So I think I was actually influenced a lot even by those things. Mm. Um, I went to London, I studied business and marketing, I came back, I got a job of, I think it was Indeed or Nokri.com mm. because mom and dad were just like, you know, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing with your life and I was like, okay, I can't have this conversation again. I'm going to get something <laughs> to like... You know, while I figure stuff out just yeah. so that they know I'm leaving for office kind of a situation. Wow. So I literally, and I was like, I can't tell them that I'm going to, I want this job or I want to do this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to figure this all out by myself. And I did. And I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. Mm. I just wasn't in love uh, with the things that I was sort of uh, engaging myself in. And so I started with a little bit of workshops on the side to understand the space. Mm. And I'll tell you, I fell in love. See, it was within. It was then the DNA. You <laughs> just didn't know. She just didn't know. I, I, needed, I needed something to sort of, you know, spark it in that But did moment. she not push you before? Like, I'm sure you being a mom, you must have sensed it. Yeah, like she can pull this off. Like, no, why I is she not getting her, it? I asked her before she left for her education yeah. to London. I said, are you sure you don't want to do this? Because come on, I mean, you're, for me, I have never let her out of my sight, mm. honestly. And her going to London was a biggie for me. Like I was actually breaking the umbilical cord at that point of oh. time. So it was too much to send her away. Mom, I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> so she's just getting to my voice, I'm right here. <laughs> so the, no, the point was that, I mean, so I did ask her at that point of time whether she wants to do films and she said, no, this is what I want to do. And then she went away. And I think at some point of time with Abhimanyu also getting the yeah, uh, Filmfare Award and getting all those 
who is uh, actually before before that. not film fair or the other awards that he got and the film that he did and yeah. she was like little fool what happened to you yeah. na i think <laughs> yeah see when she saw the brother she was like yeah ye to mera bhi ho sakta hai i you know really because he would come back you know even from his ad experiences they're grueling you know mm. ask anyone in the industry being an yeah. ad is is nuts <laughs> but uh, he would be really excited and um, and also obviously when he went for uh, his film festivals uh with Toronto Film Festival and Venice Film Festival and Macau and sort of this excitement you know for me that was also like a really big thing yeah where you have someone from your family who's going on an international platform uh doing a role like he did with Maz Khudan nahi hota hai and uh both of us you know we love like we've grown up sort of watching uh Jackie Chan films and things like that <laughs> so it was something that was like a you know cumulative dream <laughs> come yeah, true come true so um i think that was the other thing that got me like super excited and i was like you know kind of if i can get to do this and those workshops yeah i think when he came back from the workshops was something that she really caught you know to. caught on to because we would sit down and discuss and come on at our times there were no workshops so for me it was equally exciting you know trying to understand acha karte kya hai hmm. acting class mein karte kya hai what do they make you all guys do i mean yeah. do they give you a scene do they tell you to perform and then he would come up with all these different exercises that they make them do and it was like okay and she would sit down and listen and she, okay bhaiya what more okay bhaiya what more and can i come for the next class and that's what actually happened and secretly you now got to know that this is one is also going to get into <laughs> acting no matter what happens you know i feel like she and dad would kind of see it uh, hmm. in me whenever shaadi ke performances sangeet ah. and she was a lot more extrovert yeah. yeah i mean so, she was like out, out there <laughs> but yeah, you're not I that think, right now right I think a lockdown. Hmm. You know, I think that has made me a lot more introverted because I really learned to enjoy my own company. Hmm. I loved sitting at home watching Netflix and we'd have a Zoom calls. Oh yeah. You know, like the uh, idea of outing would be going for runs with my friends in Juhu or like going for bike rides and playing badminton. So I loved doing all of that. It really made me feel like we were back being kids cause what was the idea building mein ja ke khelo like that was that yeah was aur kaha jaoge yeah you know that's yeah. what we grew up doing so i feel like we all like all of my school friends actually we all live around the area okay so i think as we grew older everyone sort of kind of drifted away but that just brought all of us back to be able to do these things so in that i really started loving and enjoying my company and obviously my time in london uh because when you're living there it can get really lonely mm. so you have to sort of figure out how to kill enjoy time ki- also yeah. kill time and enjoy doing things by yourself you know you're not always going to have company to yeah. do things and i think that's something she learned with me because when she come to visit me and i would have classes i would like plan a day for her and she'd be like i'll go alone uh, she she like, actually took me to all those uh, speak easy uh, you know things but i'd never known no, that yeah. you know something like this does yeah. exist and you went and, all alone yeah and she, then she would take me and she would say okay mom i'm attending class and you go over here and you go and and okay to buy the, the ticket on your and own and, and then go there i've never ever done that honestly yeah so for me it was like a new experience i said wow this is fun my daughter's teaching me things <laughs> now <laughs> bhagish ma'am when you started off there was no social media now the entire ball game has changed you know whether it is social media influencing or movie promotions show promotions it plays a huge part in everybody's right. life how do you adapt to it because you're also somebody who's very active on her social media but i think she's <laughs> behind it honestly she's the one who taught me the ropes um for me it started off with basically just wanting to give back to society because i had um a health issue and then i decided to work on myself better myself where exercise nutrition just keep myself in a healthier space hmm. um, and that means you don't have to conform to what other people expect out of you but what your body actually wants when i uh, when the lockdown happened actually i decided that this is what people need the most because you know they are within themselves and within their homes 
uh, living lives hmm. probably solitary just by themselves and they need need to work on themselves and this is the time where they can actually so i told her i said just help me with my social media and let's start giving out tips where health is concerned and uh, well that's how i started off <laughs> so basically you're managing two social media accounts yours and your mom's no 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 she <laughs> she gets complete uh, credit for that where it's due because uh, i feel like the way she's adapted to it she's we make a, this joke at home right when you talk about any other form of technology she's in bed Hmm. But when it comes to Instagram, she knows it and how. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I have to give that credit to her completely. That you know, she's just like, oh no, you know, this music is trending, and this is how you have to make the. I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Now she started me on it uh, on the journey because I didn't know how this yeah. works or how. Like I'm, I still don't know how to do Insta Live. I have hmm. no clue. Like I that really need really her. Fun. I mean, I'm that like. That was really. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> how to add how okay, to now, go live ha, what do you do she's like really like you know like, like you're typically mother like and you're already live like this she's like coming to us no no clue oh my god that was hilarious <laughs> actually like, the first time you know when you were in the middle of lockdown and all these lies were just coming yeah. at her and she'd be going and I'd be like <laughs> mom, mom, your life. <laughs> oh, I think it happens to all moms, and I think it's also happened to me sometimes because I have been a little tech challenged. Very off for me to say it like this, but yeah. I have. <laughs> so when I'm also like this, and suddenly I'm like, why is my chin here? Yeah. Like, what is this angle? Uh, which actually brings me to my next question, Avantika. How important do you feel is to stay relevant? Like, you're young. You've just started off in your career, and like, there are so many contemporaries out there. You know, like everybody is doing great. Do you feel the pressure, or you're somebody who's like, I can take it easy. It's okay, and I'll do me, and everybody can do themselves. I I think you know what, honestly, when you're so constantly playing with it so much it's it depends on the day mm. you know i am someone who's a very like i'm confident about myself and my own voice and you know what i'm here to offer yeah um so i feel like there are days where it's all like okay it's all good you know i've got me i'm doing my thing and i think that is obviously the healthier way to look at it but um these things are designed and programmed to make you constantly think about yeah. what is out there and what you're doing so it really just depends on the day hmm. i won't lie i won't turn around and say it's all peachy it isn't there are days obviously where the insecurity hits you when you think you're not doing well enough or not doing good enough or you should be doing something else uh but i think it's important to understand uh, your voice hmm. and i feel like there's so much um, individuality that one can bring out in these spaces uh and just kind of let the audiences know who you are yeah and they can connect you on that level which i think is it's a really wonderful thing yes also add to that actually yeah. i just feel that um when she talks about certain days when the insecurity comes running in i think it's also to do with uh, a lot of uh, pr that happens and a lot of people who say that uh a ro- uh, an actor is basically chosen for a role because of how many instagram followers mm. they have you know there are certain people who get yeah. roles because of that yeah social following yeah and i just feel like but that's not going to translate on screen is it correct i mean as an actor there's so much more emotion to be played out in a film yeah. when you're doing a reel say it's for what 30 seconds 60 seconds at the max yeah and you're copying something that's already there so how does that enhance your skill as an actor i mean what newness do can you bring to the table yeah so um yeah that's what we often discuss that you know being a social media influencer is something completely different yeah. and being an actor is completely different yeah. but uh yes people are choosing their actors because of instagram following yeah. and that's a sad part it is actually it is sad. actually yeah. a sad part we need like real actors because i feel even the audience has changed so much everybody is consuming different kind of content and there's an audience for every kind of content right like whether it's real or fun yeah. or whatever you know we've also evolved in our headspace and um 
I want to ask you, like taking you back, you know, when you kind of like did your first, you know, between action and cut, what went down? Because I'm sure you must have not gone through any sort of workshop. Nothing at all. Nothing anything. at all. So what was it like for you when, you know, you had to be on set and, you know, you're a newbie, you're starting off and I'm going to come to you also because you've also been there. What was that moment for you and did you feel pressured or you were like, hey, born natural, I'll do it. <laughs> no, honestly speaking, you know, I think most of the actors of my generation would say the whirring of the camera did something to us. Mm. You know that we didn't have sync sound. Uh, so the camera would start and it was just that noise would get you into another space and it was so easy to get into the character and get out. Yeah. You were living another personality. So you had to demarcate, you know, what's real and what's real, mm. as they say. So once you are into the character, then you're just feeling her emotions, you're feeling her situation and you're performing accordingly. I mean, uh, the complete film Mene Pyaar Kiya, I don't think any of us did more than three takes for any of the shots. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, barring the action and yeah. uh, probably those kind of things. But none of the scenes, I mean, it was, we were told, you know, final mark is this and this is where you have to come and now just play it out. I think even the director had that much confidence and uh, we didn't have the monitor. Yeah. So it was all according to what the director said so, and yes, what he saw and whether the actor believed in the director. So that was completely different from how it is now. I think yeah. these people have so much more pressure. Also, I think they need to go to the monitor and say, this is okay performance lighting they're just too much. Too much to too go much, going yeah. on. And now there's like this whole entourage of people that work <laughs> on you. I'm sure you didn't have it back in the day, right? Like what was your uh, on-set no, experience like? You, you of course did have your makeup artist, yeah, you had basic. your hair person. Uh, yeah, but I think that was about it. Yeah, now there's oh, we didn't have, and public. We didn't thing. even have our uh, have vans, you know, when we went on oh outdoors. So we would literally be knocking on people's doors, say, please, zara do minute change karne dije. <laughs> also, that time we didn't have the monitor, you know. So we had to look into the director's eyes and say, okay, if he says okay, everything is okay. But are you aware of like, obviously, you have your mom who you can go back to. You have your brother who you can ask. Um, it's not always hunky-dory out here, we all know. And it's not just the film industry. I think it's every yes. industry that you look back at, right? Now, we'd go back probably to our parents and ask, you know, how the corporate world has been for you. What's that one tip to take here and there? Now, you all would obviously go back to your parents and ask that. Did you ever, like, groom her or tell her that, you know what, that's my advice for you. Rest, I'm sure you got it. Um, she's been a girl who has not let uh, worry, nervousness, anxiety really affect her persona. Hmm. Like, 10th standard was such a big thing for everyone, including the mothers. Correct. I was no different and I was like having butterflies in my stomach. 10th standard board exam, first day of school, what will happen? So I was making a nashta, everything is right. And she runs down the stairs with a big smile on her face and she says, Mom, how exciting. And I said, board exam, aren't you nervous? <laughs> And she goes like, Mom, I'll never give a board exam for the first time ever in my life again. So this is the first experience that I'm having. So she's always, wow. she's always taken the best of, uh, you know, those first experiences and molded herself accordingly mm. to enjoy them. So where that is concerned, like when she went off for this shoot, everyone else thought that, okay, Mummy ji bhi saath mein jayegi, ah. <laughs> which, which, which didn't happen and she went off there on her own and yeah of course today is a uh, lot of children go off on their own and do their own stuff but considering that um, she was always very protected back home, home, you know, yeah. back home here and when she decided to do this she went all by herself, got everything done. The first thing was that I received a call two days post her schedule from the director saying, Bhagishri, you don't have to worry. I said, okay, she's doing her work. Yeah. Work, right? She beats everyone hollow. I mean, she just commands uh, the set. She's like out there and we are like looking at her and saying, it doesn't look like this is the first time she's facing the camera. Mm. So that coming from Rohan Sippi, who's also done so much work. Yeah. 
I did put my mind to rest and uh, somewhere in my heart I felt like she's finally enjoying and doing the things that she's always wanted to do and that's what's making it so easy or so nice for her, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, all moms are extremely critical, you know, especially when it comes to their kids and it's a positive form of criticism. Like according to me, I don't take criticism specifically as negative. When you saw her work for the first time, were you over critical or you were all like, oh, <laughs> I cried. <laughs> I cried because um, she had gone on this one month long schedule to uh, uh, Darjeeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rohan called me up and said, Achha, do din to aa jau. Mm -hmm. So I went there literally for two days. And they were doing this very intense scene at that point of time. And he said, Okay, go there, sit behind the camera and you can watch her. I said, No, no, not behind the monitor. I want to see her perform live. So I sat there amongst all the lights and things like that. And I said, let me see her. I couldn't have taught her anything, mm. honestly. And that was, that was such an overwhelming feeling that uh, I don't have to give her pointers. I don't have to teach her anything. She loves this uh, profession so much, or this, uh, the, whole, the world of acting so much, that she's kind of immersed herself into that. And she's done it so well that, I mean, I just was speechless. I just started crying. <laughs> oh. How comfortable would the both of y'all be if y'all are offered to do like a film or a web series together? Now, sitting with y'all, I've understood that personally, y'all have a very close tight bond. It could bring, you know, like a slight tear in your mom's eyes and you stopped her there. Uh, but do y'all feel like professionally also your ethos would match? Or it's going to be like a typical mama daughter thing, mama, no, I'm doing it type. You answer that. <laughs> <laughs> like what if it was offered? Like what would the vibe be then? I think it would be both. We would be super excited to do something together for sure. I would love to be working with her. But I'm 100% sure I'd said it would also be like, Mama, please. You know, Mama, bus. I will do You know, like that would happen for sure. But And no. that's not on camera, let me assure yeah. you. It would be more of off camera. like. Uh, uh, listen, have this, which I did on that set and she said, Mom, you're here for two days. <laughs> Just let it be. And then I end up saying, Baby, ko, <laughs> baby, ko khana diya ki <laughs> <laughs> Mommy ji, bahar aa gai, aur baby ko khana diya ki nahi. <laughs> so she goes like, <laughs> You must be like, wait, what and happened? So anyways, that said, they had made it a point, you know, you're the newcomer, we have to do the initiation. With so you. they are ragging me left, right and centre and anything. And then mother comes in being mummy G. Mummy G, mummy G is here. So I was like, please, Mat don't give them more fodder for this, you know. We'd love to watch this chemistry on screen, yeah. Like, why not? No? On screen, I'm like, no, behind with behind Uma no. over there, na. Ah, she is just hai. waiting. <laughs> ki, just Abhi give me what ke. can I, you know, yeah, exactly. Give me something. So after that, baby, like, you know, start with her. <laughs> oh. Please, you know, I was like, no. I was like, mama, just come on the side. <laughs> I think and vice versa, I think. The kids are uh, a little worried mm. and they are a lot more critical where my performance is concerned. So when I did the uh, Thalaivi and I had taken them to see the film and I was a nervous Nelly at that point of time because they were like, mom, cinema has changed. Mm. You know, you no longer have acting that's over the top and you give those wide eyed emotions mm. and you, everything is like uh, yeah. larger than life. Everything. Saying no one acts like that anymore. I said, What makes you think your mother acts like that? <laughs> ah, you know, like, excuse me. She's like, Got yeah, you. <laughs> so, but I was nervous mm. and I hoped that they didn't feel that. So, once the film got over and I looked at them and they go, like, You did a good job. Mm. I said, Oh, thank God. I was waiting for this Oscar <laughs> yeah, like, coming oh my from God. <laughs> my kids. <laughs> But, um, you know, Vakshi, ma'am, we would love to have you back. Like, do more, more and more. Like, is that on the pipeline for you? Well, I've just finished a film. So, uh, it's in production. And yes, you all will see me very, very soon. And mm. you all will see a very, very different avatar of mom. Okay, so I'm going to wait you, for it. You must, because I'm telling you, it's something that no one has seen her like. 
uh, and that's why I'm super excited because you know what? As much as we all love Suman, and we do, yeah, we do, yeah. But there is so much more to Mom, yeah. and I am so excited for it to come out uh, and more stuff that way. Because you know what? Like we were discussing. it was not just me who fell in love with the process of acting i feel all three of us kind of bonded over that so much together yeah so uh, i would do stuff with her like that at home all the time i would you know work my scenes with her and tell her like this is my audition and got to help me with it and we would you know sort of do all of that so i'm really excited for people to see mom in this very very different vibe and i'm sure everybody would be because your set of fans are also pretty loyal you know like imagine <laughs> for having the consistency that's a great thing and it right. speaks volumes right and now to see you be there even more i think it's a perk for everybody and about you when a season 2 coming come on is it coming cuz we'd love for it to come honestly i would also love for it to come oh damn <laughs> why not <laughs> uh let's see hmm. uh i also have a telugu film that's going to come out in this summer Hmm. uh it's a student film it's a thriller uh so i'm really excited you know let everyone's exams get done and we have a little treat waiting for them <laughs> lovely lovely but yeah this was so amazing to talk to the both of you i'm so glad this happened and we removed time to get both of you all together thank you um wishing you all the very best for thank your upcoming so projects because there's lovely honestly and there's so much potential and happiness and like the energy exchange that is great and sitting with an icon like my dad was like acche se karke aana so even that for me is great thank you so much for chatting with us i'm hoping to see you for, like even 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 more right now very soon within the year great thank you so much <laughs>